Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Sakshi Gargati, on behalf of Electrical Department in association with EFFECT student body, warmly welcome Mrs. Prajakta Ghule, ma'am, to our second session of Vidyut Dhara, Eliminating Pathways of Power and Progress. As we celebrate the auspicious festival of Navratri, where we honor strength, wisdom, and grace of Goddess Durga, we are reminded of incredible contributions of women like you, who have excelled in their respective fields. Prajakta Ghule, ma'am, is an experienced electrical engineer based in NASA, currently serving as a deputy executive engineer at MSETCL with over 12 years of experience. She specializes in EHV, equipment relay testing, and SCADA systems. She started her career as a junior engineer and also worked as an assistant professor. She holds Master of Engineering in Electrical Power Systems and an MBA in Operations Management from University of Pune. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, your journey and accomplishments are truly inspirational and we believe that your insights would be invaluable to our students. Thank you. Um, so, ma'am, we have a few questions for you. Shall we start with that? Yes, please. Ma'am, can you tell what should students focus on to prepare for the first government job? I think first should uh, students should prepare for their basics criteria, like what we studied in basic electrical engineering. Because generally yes. what we do is uh, we do focus on the different criteria or particularly on power systems and etc. Uh, machine subjects, right? So I think voltage and current is the basic what we need to learn. And if that is clear, you can uh, attend any kind of question of any kind of subject related to electricity or electronics because the two things are going to be common, that is voltage and current. Nothing is going to be changed. So basically, the basics of this need to be uh, studied by uh, students like you. And if your basic electrical engineering is good, then you can uh, run through for all the exams, like uh, not even uh, any any kind of government exams you can go through. You are not audible. Hello? Am I audible, ma'am? Yeah, now audible. Yes, ma'am. So can you describe your job role and the department you work in currently? Yeah, definitely. Uh, currently, I'm working with the EHV OM that is Operation and Maintenance Department yeah, as a Deputy Executive in uh, Engineer at yes. 132 KV Satpur Old Substation as an mm -hmm. in-charge. Okay. I have 16 people under my control who uh, always try to control the system or you can say the uh, we do try our best to provide the uninterrupted power supply to the industry and the, our commercial uh, consumers basically we deal with the operation and maintenance that is we do the maintenance of regularly transformers current transformers and uh, uh, potential transformers etc so uh, we do the testing of all these equipments whether they are faulty or not if at a, uh, at some level if there is any fault we do attend that salt as well yes. and uh, try to uh, supply, uh, restore the supply within minimum time. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so my next question is that what skills do you think students should possess in order to succeed in their field? Sorry? Um, I'll repeat. What skills do you think students should possess in order to succeed in the field? I think being a good person is the first thing everyone yes. should have. Because skills are not inbuilt. They need to be developed on the basis of the environment you deal with every day. And uh, that is not in your hand, which kind of yes, situation you will going to face. But in that particular situation, whichever you are going to face, you need to be stable. You need to be clear in your thoughts. Yes. Secondly, you should always prepare for the positive and negative impacts of anything. So that you can survive in any situation. Because yes, generally what happens, we do expect the positive things only and we do prepare for positives. And if suddenly any negative impact does happen, then we get 
collapsed yes. that should not happen or that should yes. not demoralize your uh, target so a target should be fixed and for that i think being a per, uh, good person is the first step to succeed so if you and uh, being good is not in terms of our own way or in terms yes. of others way the being good is that whichever is correct thing or whatever is requirement of that situation that should be fulfilled by us yes, at any cost and we should not uh, compare anyone that some what someone else is doing and what i am doing that is not yes. important what and you can do is your, what you can do is at your own cost and yes. at own your capability so you need to identify your swot things you i think you must already have gone through the swot analysis so that is the basic thing if you work on it that is surely help you to succeed at any situation yes ma'am so what efforts did you put in to achieve success in your current position for that uh, if you ask me i have uh, gone through many uh, things like uh, in so when i joined in the msctcl it was like uh, no ladies can work in the testing department so it was very hard for me to work against the rule or you can say that like uh, if you go against the flow you have to uh, it's quite difficult to survive yes so that's what i experienced from last 10 years and currently also i am the only uh, ladies or uh, you can say the female in uh, in third list if you yes. see across the nasik that is one uh, one thing and uh, for that i have traveled many uh, sites which is uh, which had uh, added my knowledge and uh, which helped me a lot now to uh, act as an inter because yes. going through the any work and one uh, one should not feel uh, while working that this is not my work yes if you uh, are able to do any kind of hello, work hello. then only you hello. can control that those people who are working under you yes ma'am because ma sometimes what happens hello. that hello. we don't we have any hello. kind of knowledge just having a bookish knowledge that is not enough practically yes. you should know that how much time is going to require to type the knowledge nut bolt as well yes then again then only you can ask a friend person to complete that work within a timeline so for that you need to be work, work first so yes that kind of efforts took me up to here as an in charge yes ma'am thank you um Bye. my next question is uh, that are there any growth opportunities uh, in your department uh if you ask me officially yes. there is no scope because currently what uh, we are facing problem are like there are saturation because uh, now our day is what happened the recruitment has been stopped and the recruitment which we are seeing is it only on paper nothing okay. is going in front up front but the second and officially i can tell you the one thing is that if it is going to be privatization in next few years yes then you have many scope to work over here and many other uh, what you can say the out of the box things you can do over here otherwise the things are going to be the same but yes as a uh, uh, family says or uh, as our indian tendency is that government yeah. job is your top security yes then definitely you can go for this but i will suggest or uh, my personal opinion is that being in privatization is much better than being in a government organization yes because politics is going to be everywhere yes ma'am but if you you can survive in uh, privatization then you can survive in at any condition so at least for few years you should uh, take the take the experience of private organization and then you can go for the government organization so that that can be easy for you to handle the things which are uh, happening in government offices or because uh, what uh, now the youth is uh, thinking is for non corrupted india and mm, yes. so that kind of depression can be handled if it is if you are already worked with the private uh, private organization yes ma'am uh, so my last question is ma'am what yes. is your advice to the young generation who are aiming uh, to join the government sector or to enter the corporate world 
first of all i will uh, tell you that uh, wish you all the best to uh, join uh, in any government organization you, and what i expect from you as a new youth is uh, that that uh, like old people what they thought that uh, no no this this is not going to work no no this is not going to work or no this this is the only work i can do and i'm getting my payment for monthly so that's it i don't have yes. to work extra so that kind of uh, approach is wrong so yes, it, it, it should not be like that yes this is my government job and i'm getting paid for my work that's it then india will never grow yes. even though you are working in you are going to work in a government organization you should always think for the innovative ideas innovations and something out of the box which yes. will take you to the some extra uh, out uh, line uh, or you, which will automatically gives you the identification different than the other people because yes. already number of people are working in government organization but everyone is not recognized so why do if you want to be success success is what is not uh, getting paid off yes ma'am success is beyond that success is what getting paid but instead of for what thing you are uh, or how much you are getting paid person should see for what kind of work you are getting identified so that is yes, more important than your salary paid yes ma'am that's it um so moving towards the end of this session on okay. behalf of electrical department and the ifex student body i would like to extend our heartfelt thanks uh, to prajakta ghuli ma'am for sharing her valuable insights with us today ma'am your knowledge and experience has truly enriched our understanding and we deeply appreciate the time and effort uh, you have put into this session so i would like to thank you once again thank you so thank much thank you ma'am yes thank you so much